Everything that we're looking at that we're going to see all the impacts really for anything big storm surge, high winds and rain, mostly clustered off to the east of Louisiana and Mississippi. But here it is in tonight only strengthening a little bit 50 mile per hour winds now starting to get a little bit more banding on the southern end. You can see losing some of its high cloud tops uh, kind of spreading out from the center that we were seeing earlier, but some are building right at the center. And again, it's not a great defined, uh, greatly defined center. It's kind of elongated. It's been tilted as well. But here's that rapid intensification, which again would just be a big bump up in the wind speeds by 35 miles per hour or so in one day's time in 24 hours. And the National Hurricane Center is forecasting that has it as a category four, perhaps could be a little stronger or weaker, though, when it approaches Cuba on Tuesday and then nears the Big Bend area of Florida, potentially by Thursday. This would put it making a landfall somewhere to the east of Panama City, somewhere north of Tampa, something like that by Thursday evening or night. Now note the track has shifted a little bit farther west. It now includes from about Gulf Shores or Pensacola all the way to Fort Myers, Florida for a landfall for this system. Clearly, when we have something like this, even though we're out of the cone of uncertainty at this point, and even though we're not expecting big impacts, we're going to be tracking this really closely to see what the shifts in the models do over the next couple of days. Now we've still been thinking and I'll show you the steering in a minute. It's going to wrap around a big high pressure pull to the north from that trough of low pressure. But look at the spread. There's a little more spread now. So again, we will see. We'll keep watching. This is the steering pattern curving around the high getting drawn from the trough and then off to the north and northeast. And this is the one the European model that's really been pretty consistent. And interestingly, the euro is also the one with the most far east solutions for a potential landfall for Florida. The GFS, which has been fluctuating, is the one that has it a little farther to the west. So just something we'll have to continue to watch. But clearly the rain impacts start from about the Florida panhandle with the heaviest rain, of course, on the other side of the system. So that's one thing to think about. Also, even if the track does keep edging west, word we will of course be on the quieter side of that system. There are other systems out there, but everything else is weakening. Only a lower chance of development for that one wave. It was 